Hi guys, welcome back to the Beehive. Well, today guys, I have another tour. And today guys, this tour has a DIY. So guys, if you would like to know all what's in this, stay tuned. Welcome to Beyology. to the beehive well guys the time is here and it begins my fall home tour 2020 i am gonna bring you into our home for fall 2020. i found for four dollars and because you know some of the things in my house i do have rh dupes which is restoration hardware dupes well i could not find what i wanted as far as the ball inside here so guys i'm going to improvise i'm going to do this quick diy and i'm going to use a ball so i'm going to show you how i'm going to use a regular child's ball and I also have this from Hobby Lobby and it's from the Moss Collection. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this. So if you stay tuned, keep watching, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this. So because these Moss pieces come in like bigger pieces, I am going to use my handy dandy hot glue gun and I'm gonna just put hot glue all over there. You do not want to put the hot glue on the ball directly because it may burst on you. So I'm just putting it on there for a few minutes so it can adhere to the ball. And all of my little individual little small pieces, I'm gonna hold those to the end because what I'm gonna do with those, any place that I have a spot, I will add that in there. So this is another big piece and some of them I will pull apart for the simple reason is how I want to place it. So once again, just put some hot glue in there. And my hot glue gun is a high temperature hot glue gun. So I'm gonna turn it so you can see. And if you want more height, the only thing you do is add something in there to make it with a little bit height. When I put this together, um, you will see in the video how I made it with a little bit more height or I will show you with it with height. So like this one has no bottom or top. Uh, well, I'm sorry, it doesn't have a bottom. Let me get another stick in here. So I'm gonna have to create like a little bottom cause some of this has a bottom. So I'm gonna go right here. So, and the number one thing guys is it might be kind of like hard because of this season to find a green ball, but that is the best is to find a green ball because you don't have to worry about the spraying and any of that to your item. So I'm just dropping hot glue and just mashing it in. And once again, I'm looking for bigger pieces. So this is a pretty good piece. And once again, I'm not taking my hot glue gun close to it for the simple reason, of course, you know, it will pick up on the end of your hot glue gun and it will cause a mess. And I personally just don't want that. So we're gonna place again and push in just a tad bit. And the biggest thing guys, having a ball, it will already have its shape. So the only thing you're doing is adding the pieces on. When I'm finished, I'm gonna fluff it out just a tad bit. So it doesn't look so compact. So I'm gonna add this in here. So 
So when I was telling you about the smaller pieces, it's just like here, I feel like I can add a little bit more here. I can actually see the green ball. So I would take a piece, and this is a, a very good piece here, to go in that space because you have a good bit of space. And once again, just drop your hot glue in. And go ahead and just add it in. And once you get it all in, that's when you can go in the fluff. And that's the good thing about a hot glue gun. You don't have to worry about the drying time or anything. Now what I'm going to do is just go back through and just check my spaces. Whatever space that need a little bit of hot glue, I'm going to add that into my spaces. So as of right now, guys, it's absolutely looking so good. So... I'm gonna add that right there because so and see that's why you don't want to get close to your hot glue gun because this stuff will mess up your gun so here I wanted a little bit poofy poofier than what it is definitely so I wanted to insert this because I know it'll probably be someone that asked me and of course today guys is my um guest bathroom home tour but i wanted to insert this because the area that this is going in is actually a small place but it's actually when you walk into our guest guest bathroom so um i wanted to have that part real cute and and pretty to match with the rest of the house and also the bathroom so if you have the little peak areas, um, yes, of course, make it all pretty. So I'm now just doing a slight touch up to places that I want to fluff out a little bit more. So guys, I'm gonna stop right here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the after effects. So if you would like to know and see where this is going and also my bathroom tour, well, stay tuned because now begins my bathroom tour. It's not my fault You've been lying, saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no options I ain't take your options Now I'm not the problem Man, that's on you, yeah You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong I knew you lost your mind when you dropped that bomb Girl, are you crazy? Yeah, you must be crazy I've been thinking lately, lately it's you You stole your peace, put it on me Maybe it's you Lying like a rat But take your stuff back Maybe it's you 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 You, 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 you. Maybe it's you And I would never hear You've been flexing everywhere Girl, look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you You stole your peace Put it on me but baby, it's you Lying like a ride But 
Take your stuff back, baby. It's you, 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 baby. It's you, 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 you. Oh, if I control the weather. Shine, you can't shed things, yeah If I was Father Time Then I would change the honey So I never saw your face